that's where I managed to get these out. No. The way I did it was well, it was basically to risk breaking one of these tabs and what I managed to do was to just pull one tab back. Now if I put this in, I don't know how you get these back in I don't know, no, that's the right way round. I don't think it is. It seems more rounded there, thinner here, so it's gonna go like this. Thin end in. And I use a pair of tweezers to get it out. So I'm going to use a pair of tweezers. Let's put it in always. I'm trying to be mindful of not, of not damaging it. So that's not all the way in. So, I've got that part in, I've got those two sides there, they seem to be okay. And that's just a case of pushing that down, so that's back in again. It's painless enough. And then to get it out, because it's not so easy to get out that bottom piece, I literally just got a pair of these tweezers, not pointy, but sort of rounded off. Got underneath this here and sort of pulled it back and literally just sort of pushed until that's pushed down and you have to be quite careful oh. Oh. and it does it almost seems like you're gonna break the tab but as long as you're careful you don't break the tab and I guess that canopy out now I managed to replace all these, you know, the shell and these and the back door for less than twenty pounds. So it's not a bad little thing to do, you know, if you if you want to and or basically if you've broken your shell, you can get all the all the bits. I've not got the camera in the I've been busy all day today, so I've not managed to get the camera out. Or the um, the antenna as yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a go at heating it up. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna put an old tip in my solder iron, or just the tip that I don't use, and and just see if I just just warm it up a little bit and just see if it becomes um, I don't know what the word is pliable enough, but just soft enough to to be able to get this out. So. I'll give it a go now. Um, I'll put it on pause just while I sort out a tip for the solder iron. And yeah, just give me a minute. I got this like um, knife type piece. I've never used it before. I'm probably never going to use it for any type of soldering. I can't honestly see what I'd use that for, so I'll give this a go and see what happens. Okay, so that does, it does make quite a good impression on that pretty quickly. All I'm going to try and do is it does smell a bit. I might have to put my extractor on. I don't really want to breathe in with the fumes, but I'll try just closing this pair of tweezers underneath it and see if I can use a little bit of leverage on there to. Okay, that, that, that does work quite well, so using a hot iron does, uh, does do that quite well. I've just managed to pull that piece out there.
very hard to try and get an angle where I can see what I'm doing and I can show it at the same time. Oh, just there we go. I hope I've not damaged it at all. I'm going to assume there's going to be some flexibility in this. Thing. Okay, so that end sort of rather than uh, I didn't actually get to manage to cut through it as such it just warmed enough for me to be able to pull it out which is okay I've got some clear silicon rubber that I'll uh, it's like the white elastic, but it's clear instead that I'll put over that when I put it back in again so there we go so there's the um, that's the 2.4 gig transmitter antenna. I should probably try and keep these out of harm's way as well. Now what I've got to do now is get this camera out. I'm hoping I can get it all out in one piece. And I hope that's the only way it's clamped in. Let's give that a go. Um, I'm going to try and have some. Again, the camera switched itself off, but this time I think it was because it had run out of battery. It did actually say it had half a battery um, when I first looked, but given that I'd done quite a bit of film, I should have really guessed that that probably wouldn't have been the case. Again, I'm unsure about just disconnecting this, even though I suppose I should. Because um, it's just some glue there, but I don't know how these go together, so... I suppose I'm not going to know unless I take it apart, am I? I should try doing that. Let's have a look. Does that just fit in there? It looks like it might just push in. Oh, okay. Just gonna see if I can just twist off some of this. It's glue. There's no way I'll be able to grip it with my fingers. I can still do that without damaging anything. Okay. Okay, so there's the board out. Hopefully, okay, pulling it around a bit, managed to pull the camera, but it doesn't look like I've done any sort of damage. There's quite a lot of muck around there. Just want to keep these toothbrushes. That might be a bit too much, yarn. like a yard broom, that one. Let's uh, get one of these, these finer ones. Let's get a little bit of a, a brush around. And I'm hoping that's not adjusting the lens at all for focusing. Apart from been a little tiny bit kinked, it doesn't actually look like it's it's done any damage. So hopefully that'll just go back together again and be no problem. Just probably leave that on there even though as I say I'll leave it on now fiddling with it to pull it off. There we go. 
and it fits in like that. So really, that's it. That's everything out of there. Uh, the only thing I've got to do here is the back door. So I'm just going to try and see if that just twists at all. This this side looks like it's open. And it's got an opening on the end and this side hasn't. So I'm going to assume that you can pop that out and then shift it out. I hope you can because otherwise I'm going to break it. And the case, I don't really want to break the case. Oh, okay, so for there, I just pushed quite firmly down with my thumb. Like I said, it's open that end on the other side, which pulls that out. So I'm hoping now I can just pull it towards me, just gently, so I can wear that out. A little bit trickier than what thought it was going to be, but I suppose that's a good thing. Okay, so that's come out without damaging anything, that's fine. Um, really, in a way, I, I got a funny thing that may be able to be taken off and put on when the rest of it's together as well. Oh, wrong way around. Because I just want to use this on the white one until the white one comes through. But it could take a few weeks to get to me. It could take a week. I suppose I do like getting a bit of flight time in when I can. Because I've got some fields which are relatively close to me. That's good. Just got to wonder about those washers that were on these, I suppose. If I just put the washers back where the washer markers are on these, and of course these will all go back in the same place, and the mode is going to be changed, that, that should be okay. So that's that, that's, that's it completely dismantled, and in a way I wish I got that on the end of the film, but uh, on the one I've done. But I can just put this to the start of the one of me putting it back together again. And I'll do that once I've had my dinner.